lost treasures of the Old West. In this episode, we're going to talk about four wagon loads of dimes that in 1907 left the Denver Mint headed for Phoenix, Arizona. Somewhere along the way, the wagons, the drivers, and the dimes all disappeared, never to be seen again. This story really starts with the predecessors of the Denver Mint. In 1858, Austin M. Clark, Milton E. Clark, and Emanuel Henry Gruber founded a brokerage firm in Leavenworth, Kansas, and then established an office in Denver at the beginning of the Colorado Gold Rush. Their idea was to buy gold dust and transport the gold dust back east to the federal mints. But this created a huge transportation cost. So the firm opened a private mint on July 25th of 1860. The mint opened in a two-story brick building on the corner of Market and 16th Street, minting $10 gold pieces at the rate of 15 to 20 coins a minute. A private mint would save the transportation cost and provide a valuable source of local exchange. After three years of private coining, Clark, Gruber and Company sold their mining and refining business to Uncle Sam in 1862. Established by an act of Congress on April 21, 1862, the United States Mint at Denver opened for business in late 1863 as a United States assay office. Their operations began in the facilities of the Clark, Gruber and Company building that the government had purchased for $25,000. Unlike Clark, Gruber & Company, though, the Denver plant performed no coinage of gold at first. One reason given by the director of the Mint for the lack of coinage at Denver was the hostility of the Native American Indian tribes along the routes, and the Civil War, and bad white men along the trail. The gold nuggets and dust that were brought there by the miners from the surrounding area were accepted by the assay office for melting, assaying, and stamping of cast gold bars. The bars were then returned to their depositors as imparted bars, stamped with the weight and fineness of the gold. After years of this, there was a new hope for a branch of mint status when Congress provided for the establishment of a mint at Denver for gold and silver coin production. The site for the new mint at West Colfax and Delaware Streets was purchased on April 22, 1896 or around $60,000, and construction began in 1897. After a lot of delays, the new building was occupied on September 1st, 1904, but coin operations didn't begin until February 1st, 1906. About a year later, four wagon loads of dimes left Denver, Colorado for Phoenix, Arizona, and they had a treacherous route ahead of them. Now these wagons were hauling freshly minted silver 1907 Barberhead dimes. And perhaps some 1907 quarters as well. Today, these dimes are very special, though over four million of them were struck from 90% silver and 10% copper bearing the D of the Denver Mint only about a dozen of these dimes in decent shape are known to still be in existence today. If you were to locate just one of these dimes in pristine shape, it could very well bring over a thousand dollars. Of course it is possible that the wagon train met with foul play from bandits along the trail. The most common belief today is that perhaps because of foul weather or some other reason, the wagon train fell victim to the very treacherous trails along the Black Canyon. Now Black Canyon is a breathtaking place. In some places the canyon is a thousand foot wide and over two thousand foot deep. And it owes its name to the fact that Parts of the canyon only receive about 30 minutes of sunlight per day. 
That is an amazing place. Now, there are a few theories of what happened to the dimes. Some folks think that the wagon drivers made a bargain amongst themselves and just decided to ride off with the dimes and keep them for themselves. Some folks think that they were set upon by outlaws that knew about the shipment. But if either one of those things would have happened, these dimes would have showed up in circulation. And the 1907 Barberhead dime is one of the rarest. So that seems very unlikely. There are also some rumors that a few years ago, some hikers in Black Canyon found the remains of a few wagons and a couple of gallons of these dimes spread out amongst the wreckage. Could be. But that's just a drop in the bucket compared to what's missing. So there's still a lot of dimes out there to find. Thank you for joining us for Lost Treasures of the Old West, where we're here to tell you about lost or forgotten, unclaimed treasure, stuff that has yet to be discovered and is waiting out there for someone to find, maybe you. I'm Bob Terry. We hope to see you again on down the trail. Have a great day.